Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon Sapphire Randomizer Nuzlocke versus Trade Use. Today we're going to be taking on Wallace, the last gym leader of the own region. So hopefully we're able to take this guy out and uh, progress on to the Pokemon League. I'm expecting a tough battle here. Um, I could be a bit higher in level to be honest and obviously I only do have two Pokemon who can you know try and take him down and one of them is a water type himself so uh, yeah we'll see how we get on here I'm gonna go open up with the, the hypnosis obviously he's gonna get the confused off because yep that's how the game works but, uh, we're just gonna keep trying to put it to sleep uh, we're just gonna miss <laughs> I'm just gonna giga drain it because I can't be bothered with it being like this, probably won't even one hit KO. Oh no, we will. That's good. Okay, so there's one out the way. And a nice little level up for Brienne there as well. Okay, next up, Celio. Um, go for the Giga Drain. It probably won't be a one hit KO, but oh no, <laughs> we get a crit, which is, you know, always nice. Uh, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I think I accidentally clicked off the screen. Um, we'll send out trade use for the Milotic or Militic or however you say this Pokemon's name. Uh, we'll try and take this down with a couple of earthquakes. See it's got Tice Beam. It's not too much damage done there so we should be okay. Two or three earthquakes should do the trick of course we get frozen solid. Typical. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, heal trade use up. Can we break out this time? No? Maybe next time. There we go. can't quite get the KO, so I will just heal up again. What is happening with my audio today? I'm, I do apologise. keeps cutting out weirdly. I'm just going to move that up there and see if that helps. And we'll go back in with another Earthquake. Don't really think this Milotic's going to have too much to take me down with. It's just going to keep Ice Beam and as you can see it's not doing too much damage so there we go. That should do the trick for us. Lovely. Almost a level up for trade use there as well. We're going to switch out to Brienne for the Wish Cash. Should be able to take it down. for a Giga Drain, why not? Special defense going up, that's not going to do me too many favors, I probably won't one hit KO it. Yeah, that's frustrating. Uh, go for a secret power, because I know he's going to get that heal off. <laughs> We've got a Paralyze as well. I'll tell you what, I'll go for a Confusion try to save that Giga Drain. In fact, if you're going to put your special defense up, you may as well see how we have. Rain Dance. I think one more should do it, and then if I Giga, Tra Giga Drain, it should take it out. Um, obviously, we are faster than it at the moment, so that's always nice. Yeah, there we go. We take it down. I didn't want to just waste it with the... Uh, two times special defense boost that I put on so I thought it'd be a better bet just to take down a couple of superpowers. Right, Sea King. I do believe it has a one hit KO move. Um I might be wrong, but if so obviously that could be quite troublesome. Okay, so hmm I don't know if that has that one hit KO move so I'm gonna put a little bitch out. Um just in case. I know I said I wasn't going to use it, but it's, you know, it's just precautionary. I think this 
yeah, that was the one hit kill move, I do think, so probably best that I, you know, swear that. We'll just use up take down a seeking. I mean I have I have spoke to the boss trade use and he has he has said that it's okay to use it. It was my first encounter for the route. Stuff like that, so you know, I may as well use him to take down. Good old Wallace, and there we go, there's the final gym badge. Probably made harder work of it than, than I needed to. It took me uh, about five minutes that battle. Not really you know, I should have probably been able to take it down with just the two Pokemon, but, you know, uh, that's just life, isn't it? I didn't want to lose any of my Pokemon so so late into the run, that would be devastating to, to lose uh, members of the team at this point, so, yeah. We move on. Um, we'll go for a cheeky heal uh, and get Brom back out. I know just last episode I was saying that um, Bron probably won't get a look in now, but uh, sorry, won't get won't get to use the XP share. But I do think I probably will slap it on him, uh, just because he's he's not really that effective at this stage of the game. Um, to be honest, the full game he's he's not really been been too useful. I know that sounds harsh, but just the fact of the matter is he he hasn't really. You know, like, Horn isn't really made for fire types. Um, I don't think there's a grass type gym, is there, or anything like that, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fly back to my steep. Make our way down to Route 128. Before I do that, I will just, uh. I will just teach good old. Waterfall to our little bitch. There he is. Can I, can I give it a Sansa? Yeah, I may as well give it a Sansa. Because I might actually use Kyogre at some point during the Elite Four, because obviously it is a level 45 legendary Pokemon, so if I do need to use it, I will use it. Uh, just to avoid, obviously, <laughs> losing the challenge or losing my team, which, you know, wouldn't be ideal. We'll just make our way down. Got a Nuzleaf here. Level 5, obviously not really gonna, gonna do much against me there. Oh, and another encounter. A Nuzleaf again, to be honest, I'm just gonna, gonna slap good old Repel on in a second anyway. Should be able to avoid these Pokemon pretty nicely. Uh, where are we at? There's our Max Repel down there. Decent. Okay, so moving on to Route 128. If you just take this eastern route here, um, may as well fight. No. Ah. <laughs> She's just <laughs> not not one in the fight. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to move on. Okay, so we've got this Fisher here, a triathlete or whatever they are on this game. <laughs> So, is Messiah? <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. Um, taking you on. Go for the Giga Drain. Should be able to take it down in one hit. Yeah, of course. Didn't think I'd have any issues there. Decent. So, there's the first trainer for basically the, the last route before Victory Road. Um, don't know if there's any others actually. Just to. No? Okay, we're in Evergrande City, which, you know, it's a city, but it's not really a city. But I do get an encounter here, um, if I want it, I guess. I don't know if you can encounter Pokemon here, but we'll just have a little run around, just in case. See if I can encounter something on the water. Because, like, I mean, I may as well add high level Pokemon to the box just just in preparation for the Elite Four. So yeah we get our encounter for Evergrande City and it's actually a Hypno. Which, you know, wouldn't be too bad, but it's a level 23, so I'm not even gonna waste my time catching it. On that note, um may as well just head into Victory Road. May as well get started. 
Um, okay, here we are. So, I've not been to this Victor Road for quite some time. Uh, I do believe oh, we're getting encounter first. I do believe we go this way, but could be wrong. Okay, we've got a Breloom. Um, I will go ahead and try and catch that. Uh, Breloom's one of my favourite Pokemon, so if it doesn't kill me, uh, I'll be able, to, be able to catch it. Wish I'd. <laughs> yeah, if I still had the Master Ball, I'd just use it now, but obviously I don't. There we go, we've uh, got Breloom. Um, go ahead and call you uh, Melisandre. I mean, it won't, it won't fit in, so Melisandre. I don't, oh, I put a double E, so <laughs> a double L. Oh well, it's one of them things. Okay, so, just heal you up real quick. I am very nervous about this, because uh, I don't really know where I'm going. I'm, I'd say I'm quite underleveled, uh, but I'm just taking the risk. I mean, to be honest, we'll see how these fights go. And if I need to, I'm just going to grind up here for the rest of the episode. Uh, I've tried to avoid wild grinding all I could, but... Yeah, there does come a point where it might be a little bit impossible not to grind. Like, I mean, level 43 here. <laughs> it's not ideal, is it? Go for a flame wheel, see what that does. Okay, yeah, we should be able to take this out. Minimal issues. Of course. <laughs> uh, we'll switch out of Brienne. Yeah, see, Bron, he's, he's a lacking Pokemon at this point. He's not doing too great for himself. Of course, they've got the full restore on there as well. Oh, shit, it's got bite. That's not friendly, is it? Uh, I know it won't be too effective, but I will just go for a Giga Drain, try and recoup some of them uh, health points, hit points. Ah, oh, we've got a crit, though, so that's good. Um... Okay, decent. Um, got a muck as well. Uh, we'll go for good old swamp it. And I think after this fight, I think it is an indication that I might need to grind up a bit on Victory Road. Maybe get them up to you know, like level 44 or something. Uh, it's better to be safe than sorry, especially with the Wally fight at the end of uh, Victory Road. Could uh, cause some issues for us, and then. As soon as we're out of Victory Road, before we take on the Elite Four, I will just have a search around the uh, the map for stuff like uh, PP ups and uh, rare candies and the likes, like I mentioned before, just to beef up my team that little bit more. Because if I recall correctly, I think I mentioned last episode, I think Steven's Pokemon get up to like level 58 or something, so could even be higher. Uh, so obviously he is packing some heat there and we need to be able to take him down without, without any losses so I could uh, could have kind of like fucked myself over a bit I think I will be going into the Elite for a little bit under leveled but you know I I want to win and obviously it's hard when you don't know what uh, what stage trade use is up to so because he could be in the victory road right now ahead of me so yeah I definitely don't want to be uh, losing out so Okay, we've got a Flaffy here. I hope it doesn't have static or something stupid like that. Yeah, that's static. <laughs> um, okay, using Thunder Wave, but I'm already paralysed, mate. Yeah, I think I might just run from Flaffies if they're going to paralyse me every time I fight them, because could you be bothered for that? 600 XP, it's not ideal. I think Breloom will have a bit more. So, yeah, we've got that to look forward to. Yeah, so we'll probably just try and... <laughs> Woodkit. 
uh, try and grind up for the rest of the episode. Um, surely a mud kit won't be able to take me down even with a water type move. Strength didn't do too much damage, I mean, does it aerial ace? I guess. <laughs> Yeah, so sorry if the commentary is a bit lacking, I find it hard just to commentate over grinding. To be honest, I might just speed up the grindy bit and just call it an episode here. I think that's probably the best bet uh, to do it that way, so uh, feel free to skip the rest of the video because it will just be fast forward grinding if I can work out how to fast forward it. If not, it'll just be silent. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully next time we'll be able to start making our way through Victory Road. If not, um, I think I'm just going to run from these as well because it's not worth the XP that you're getting. Yeah, so thank you for watching and I'll uh, see you next time.